Hi, I'm Ingo Simonis. I'm Director of Innovation Programs and Science at the OGC. And I'm here today at the European Space Agency Operating Center in Darmstadt, Germany, where we run a hackathon on cloud architectures. The hackathon is jointly sponsored by ESA and by Natural Resources Canada, and is part of the OGC Innovation Program that I would like to introduce to you today. The general idea is that we as OGC work very closely together with sponsoring organizations on defining a set of requirements or technical challenges that sponsors need to achieve. We then address these in IP initiatives that, depending on technology maturity, are organized as hackathons, interoperability experiments, plaque fests, pilots or test beds. For each initiative, we develop a call for participation and then bring together a group of industry and academic experts to address our challenges. Let me explain this with a number of examples and I will start with the Arctic Spatial Data Pilot Initiative that we completed last year. Initially, we sat together with our sponsors USGS and Natural Resources Canada and discussed how the value of the Arctic Spatial Data Infrastructure could be best demonstrated to its stakeholders. We started with a request for information which was sent to over 500 OGC member organizations and other players with a foot in the Arctic. We asked for elements around the Arctic SDI, so for example its use, its data, architecture, services and for sure what people are missing about it. We captured all results in a 100 plus pages report and then served as a key input for the second phase, where we brought almost a dozen industry and academic partners together to help us experimenting with advanced SDI concepts and to demonstrate the value of Arctic SDI to its stakeholders. As a result, we produced a number of case studies and corresponding video material. Other innovation program activities address rather low technology readiness levels like hackathons or test beds. We conduct test beds on a roughly yearly basis and they are really the think tanks and um, experimentation labs of OGC where we deal with everything that has to do with geospatial data and geospatial data processing. Let me show you test bed 13 which we ran last year. In test bed 13 we addressed 14 different topics that belong to eight major architecture elements which include, for example, big data, cloud processing, where NRCAN funding went to, or semantics. The 14 topics show you the variety that we deal with in these uh, test beds. Without getting into details, you see here that we address, for example, fit-for-purpose data, where experts define workflows for non-experts, and the non-experts can then pull simple questions such as what is the safest route from A to B? In the background there's a whole uh, workflow executed where the non-experts do not need to deal with. We addressed secure dynamically generated workflows, we improved geopackage to take data into the field, uh, we addressed geosimulation to understand future situations and to answer what-if questions. These items cover a wide range from mass market technologies such as MapML to highly specialized data processing like laser or radar data in distributed cloud environments. This year we are running testbed 14, again with a volume of over 5 million US dollars if you count the sponsoring and in-kind contributions provided by the participants. And with 11 sponsors, we have a lot of overlapping interests that allow us to leverage lots of synergy effects. So the development costs are in fact shared between sponsors having interest in the same field. And that is really the beauty of these test beds. We bring multiple sponsors together with leading industry partners and academia to experiment and explore new spheres in the context of geospatial data and processing. And all of this is executed in a non-competitive environment. And I think that's what gives these, this, this special aura to these innovation program activities. It's really about working together to, or making things work. So what's about the hackathon? Well, if we develop new approaches and test beds and think that 
at the end of the test bed we are ready for further experimentation plus we may want to get additional insights from organizations even outside the OGC we organize a hackathon and with this ha hackathon we bring people together get our hands dirty during a couple of days and run some implementation experiments and then we can use the results as input for the next test bit or for the next um, OGC innovation program activity. Thank you very much. That was my very brief introduction to the OGC innovation program. Uh, it's very, very difficult to capture all these elements within such a short period of time. So if you have any questions, any ideas, uh, there are lots of opportunities. Please come talk to us. And uh, once again, here from the hackathon in Darmstadt, I send my best regards and wish you a wonderful day. Thank you.